What is up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play More Fossils and Archaeology and just off the bat as I start this I have to check something and yes everything is good to go. So yeah, what's up everybody, how are you all doing today and you know welcome back to more Fossils and Archaeology. So we do have a whole poop load of emerald zombies so I'm going to throw those in the valuables chest as you know we are not really needing them right now. And again what I'm going to start doing today is kind of just rebuilding everything as uh, we obviously did lose quite a bit last time and we do also have this epic... Um, pickaxe somewhere but uh yeah so we got all this stuff we had lost and uh, the culture vat is in here again but uh so we are slowly rebuilding it all and uh, i don't think there's anything lost in the uh computer lab or the computer lab but i don't i don't have a computer lab in this let's the science lab i believe a thing or two was lost in there as well but what i'm going to do is go into here and we're going to throw down a oh that still didn't grow uh, I do have some bones on me though, so why not? Let's just let's just make some bone meal and uh, just grow the tree myself, since I am a boss like that and it reused all those plants. So what I'm gonna do? Oh, we <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's all the emeralds we had, really. But uh, nope, of course I am wrong. So we're going to throw this guy down, and we did kind of lose some melons that were in there. But what are you gonna do? Actually, can I? What? What just happened? Alright, the feeder's broken. I believe I knew that, but so we're just gonna leave the feeder in there for now and we'll let we'll have to feed these guys ourselves, but yeah, I, I think I did know that actually and I don't uh think I did anything about it. Or it was just like in the update broken. So where is my fortune pickaxe? Oh, it's in the house still. But yeah, so what I'm gonna start doing now is just really pumping out some dinosaurs and uh, you know, today maybe we could get some new dinosaurs actually and but like these guys I'm just gonna throw another triceratops in there because I do want to create a triceratops island and uh, first we got to grow up some of our own dinosaurs but you know that is something definitely that I want to do in the future we're gonna relay all of these eggs like the uh, velociraptor the triceratops eggs we have two of we're gonna throw the triceratops eggs down here since we are probably gonna start getting quite a collection of them and since we have these guys why not let's just make two of these Petrosaur, Petrosaur eggs. And we'll just use both of those. And if you hear weird noises in the background, there is a fire truck. So we'll throw this stuff in here, though. Um, that, all these random weird blocks we got. The fences we could put back in there. The uh, blocks of emerald we could throw in here. And we do also now we're gonna need to kind of find a a zombie, a zombie village, a mob village because of the influx of emeralds. We don't need to actually find it, but it would be a uh, advised thing and uh, yeah we see we have tons of bone meal and we also have tons of uh, gunpowder which is awesome but yeah so that's something i definitely advise myself to go do um we have some string we could throw in here and what else raw fish i'm going to ch exchange something for raw fish since i am on cheap mode um no not meat of a t-rex see we could get a whole bunch of t-rexes right now but oh Let's uh, let's grab this and let's exchange this for straight raw fish. So we're gonna do that. And where's fish? Because I'm not gonna sit there all day fishing. And this is the most legitimate way I could see in doing this. One stack of raw fish, giving juice head 20. F oh, because I guess I'm in single player or whatever. But yeah, so we now we can turn off that since I don't like spawning things. And uh, now we have a huge influx of raw fish. But we're not actually going to be really using it. Actually, we will be using it, but we're not going to be using it right this second. So we could put this back in here. The rotten flesh we don't need. We could throw that in there. Um, what else don't we need? Raw f fish I'll keep on me. The bow. We're going to need a new bow very, very soon. Fern seeds I could throw in the fossils chest. I believe we had some anyway. Yeah, we did. And what ladders, arrows? Ooh, I need way more arrows. Um, do I have arrows? Bows, bows, arrows. Wow, I have no arrows left. Jesus, where'd they all go? I do have a couple feathers, but I really don't have many arrows. Jeez, hmm, that's uh weird. A gas tier, an ender pearl, and also one thing someone did say is they want a tutorial of this house. So maybe should we i don't know how i should go about doing that but yeah this, i definitely want to have a tutorial of this house so let's equip the dinopedia with some cooked pork chops on us we should equip these somewhere also mm, we don't really need both of those out right now and let's see the fern seeds i'll actually grab some of these just to replant some around my world i have that conch thing as well and all right so let's go back down here and let's go check on these guys and see how they're doing you know hopefully all goes well in this part of my world 
and uh, did they hatch yet or spawn? Oh yeah, see we have a whole bunch of babies. They better be, I, I don't think they really get tamed, so they're just going to be a bunch of babies of these guys in here. Hopefully they don't spawn towards me though, I can make them sit and stuff. Oh god. They're floaters. Oh no, they're not mine, because I wasn't in the vicinity of them. Alright, so then we just got a little... Oh wait, no, 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 I have to tame them, that's right. I have to tame them with milk. Or something, I think. Uh, I don't have any buckets of milk on me. Actually, that's another thing I need to do, is go get some more milk. And uh, I, I kind of want to get another cow somehow. Or, you know, like, separate the cow from everyone else, because, uh... I don't know, it's just kind of, it's just a random cow sitting there. But, yes, so we're going to go back upstairs here, and uh, let's get the milk buckets. And uh, we'll just grab all of these, I guess, for the time being. And we'll grab one more, just so we can go team those guys in a little bit later in the episode. And I also want to throw one of these buckets of milk in the culture vat, just to get things booming. So we'll throw that in there, and, yeah, so this milk bucket farm thing, whatever you want to call Oh, I forgot my other pickaxe as well. God damn it. So let's just eat up a little. And uh, we gotta go plant these eggs. That's what we should have probably done earlier on. But we got a fortune one pickaxe. And we have a diamond sword and a diamond sword. I don't have a diamond sword on me. That is not smart. So we're gonna equip my regular diamond sword. The bow we could actually probably equip as well. I don't know. I don't have enough room. Um, this we don't, well, we're gonna need that, though. We don't need a clock. You know what? We don't, we don't need to carry that around anymore. Feather falling, that is our next task, though, is, uh, you know, enchanting all of that gold armor. But, uh, yeah. So now we're gonna go plant these eggs, or lay these eggs in, in my little cage, my old cage for the, um, which we'll call it's over here. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna lay these eggs and then come back in a few. But, unfortunately, yeah, for the time being, the feeder does not work, so we have to do things the old-fashioned hard way. And, uh, let's see, progress 2%, so... That is that. We could equip some raw fish, as I'm sure they'll be hungry when they pop out, because, you know what, that's just how life works. And, uh, alright, we could equip my fortune pickaxe as well, and for some reason I thought it was way more, like, deteriorated. Way more deteriorated than it is. I don't know, I guess I was wrong, obviously. But, uh, I'm curious, though, if I use the fortune pickaxe, actually, no, on the emerald block, it wouldn't give me two, because then I could just theoretically make an infinite amount of emeralds. Because I could just keep getting emerald. What? Oh, it grew? That's actually pretty funny. It just grew while we were standing here. Huh. That's actually kind of funny. And also, a bunch of people are telling me to make iron golems. And I don't really know how, but I could look it up because I know that's a use for pumpkins. But in the next update, pumpkins will turn into uh, pumpkin soup or pie or something like that. So, you know, that's a plus that we could uh, gain. All these pumpkins that we we're farming, you know, we could actually get a use out of them. Finally, but yeah, so let's run in here and uh, where what else do I got on me that I need to wow That was actually see these things go pretty fast though. It's nice about them and I can put it on my head and uh, Roar, but I don't want to do that because it's hard to see and let's see um, Let's place some fern seeds around as uh, I do want to get some ferns growing in here since this is the exhibit um, We should name the exhibit actually <laughs> Uh, I can pass on naming the exhibit for the time being, but uh, what else do we have on me? Let's equip the dirt over the uh, cobblestone, but <sighs> figures, 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 the culture vat decides to go boom. Why, why, it, it was doing good for so long, what changed? I don't know, that sucks though, at least we do have a few, uh, a few already, and uh, stuff like that, but is it really because sun setting already? So we're just going to get two more of the petrosaur. The petrosaurs will hopefully spawn today and stuff. Actually, I need an open palm hand. What don't I really need right now? I need the dinopedia. I don't need you so much. Because I just need the open palmed hand. So I could, uh, you know, do stuff and manipulate blocks like this that an open palm hand manipulates. So, well, look what a peaceful night it is. Very, very peaceful. So, oh, they're going to hatch right at the end of this episode, so this one should hatch first. Oh, and it's on top of the other one, I believe. And, oh, look, there's two little baby ones, and their health, their hungers are maxed out, and their health is good. So, Mr. Wolfie, you are the gate guard here, and uh, you make sure no one touches them. Oh, wait, are you following me? Oh, wait, no, I need an arrow. That's right. So, free move, free move. And we're going to get the hell out of here. And we're going to go into my home again. And wow, these things are just really fast with uh, replenishing. Jesus. 
and what no one was wondering actually if you guys could post in the comments when I have a fortune I, I could just look it up but I'd rather you guys post in the comments because it benefits me at the same time <laughs> but when I have a Wow, what the hell? I was like, what the hell's going on here? Knock back? No! Ah, uh, damn it, that did not... Oh, look, we got that, though. But, when I have a, um... Damn it, this... Why does this have to happen to me? Wait. Oh, that's iron. I was like, what is that? Did I put more than one in there? But no, I did not. Anyone fall down there? No. Um, oh, Jesus. So, I guess we'll have to make a new culture vat next episode and get that stuff down pat. But yeah, so thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Fossils and Archaeology. And you know, I hope to see you all next time. Again, thanks for watching.